I'm Sir TapTap and welcome to Let's Play Valhalla, a cyberpunk bartender action game. Well, not an action game, it's like an official novel, but you know what I mean. Glitch City 2070 XAD, a city that shouldn't exist. A tax haven where corporations and criminal empires reign supreme. In this place, all human life has been infected with nanomachines. Nanomachines! It's, it's, it's Metal Gear Solid 4! Okay, we're playing Metal Gear Solid 4 with, with waifus. That's the important part. This this text is moving too fast. Uh, you'll have to read it yourself. Um, the game's a visual novel, so they won't. It doesn't all move as fast as this intro. I'll I'll actually read all of the like in-game text, but it's too fast. So yes, bad lives, bottom of glass, you know, crime and stuff. It's 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 cyberpunk. We we know this. We know the drill. BTC certified. It's Bitcoin certified. We just call it Valhalla. I like that that generic Japanese noodle thing costs ten million dollars. Small oasis in the middle of the concrete desert. A fountain of spirits waiting for tired souls. Oh, you're getting all poetic on me, huh? Hmm. That's where the story unfolds. So this is Valhalla. I was gonna do the thing. It's Holy shit, it's actually done. Version 1.1. 1 .1. Um, a review copy of this game is provided by the developer. So this is... Um, not too many settings. This is a visual novel, so... Not too many settings are expected. Though I, I appreciate when there's nice, rich like text settings for like skipping and... Hello. I, I should have known you would be annoying. Okay, it's time to lock the c keyboard because Parker is here. Um, you can turn on scan lines. I'm not a big fan of scan lines, to be quite honest. They make recordings huge anyway. Thank you for playing Valhalla. This game is best played getting comfortable. Grab some drinks, some snacks, and enjoy. Well, I've got my water. I can't really eat while recording. So sit back, relax, and enjoy South Park. I mean, Valhalla. We hope you have a good time. Click to continue. Official website for this game is called waifubartending.com. Oh, this is giving me vibes of like that. Oh, hello, glitch lady. How's that for an entrance? This is giving me vibes of um, Final Fantasy VIII. There's a bar. I don't think it plays a song like this. Why are you glitching? Are you are you a hologram? I'm going to pick your nose, Mrs. Hologram. Parker, sit down. Sit down. Come on, Joe, look sharp. The game's starting and the player needs a good first impression of its main character. Parker, please. I know a bunch of tuxedo-clad corgis. Tuxedo-clad corgis? Since where? You better... Parker, don't bump the mic. Um, that better be actually be in the game. Over the weekend, the bar will eventually close. And I'll admit my little prank might have gone a little overboard. But remember, life is 90% in how you make it. Stay focused on the brighter side of things. I have no idea what the brighter side is, but you should totally find it. In any case, you should totally stop saying totally. Um, check out that parcel you just got. See ya! Okay. So, what is our parcel? Just a dream. Hmm? Something near the door. So in this game, we um, change people's lives by making them drinks. I'm not sure how it all goes down, and I thought I would find out with all of you as I play. Um, this game is out basically now. Um, I meant to play this a little earlier. Membership to the Shining Fingered. <laughs> Shining Fingered? Okay. Um, we'll automatically renew on the 14th. That, that, that's like South Park. Like That's what an RPG clan would be called in South Park. Um, make sure your account has at least $800 by then. Make sure to save your data using the Life Backup app. Parker, get down. Come on, get down! My techniques for scaring him are not working as well. You can now browse the augmented eye. Oh, phone. Psst, this Snapchat crap. Um, who's that letter from? Is this me? Am I this? What do I do? Do I hold to unlock? Oh, come on, you gotta have the swipe to unlock. Add app. 
do I, you know, it's life back up. Okay. This is, I love how it's like mega future and we're using Android like 2.0. That's fine. Welcome, Jill. Oh, no, that's, what is this? Oh, neat. Parker. Yeah, that, that music and scenery, it was giving me some Final Fantasy VIII vibes. Those are good vibes. The Augmented Eye. Mass immigration continues as Wonderlanders are the newest threat. Oh, these are headlines. Mass immigration, blah to do. Inflation rates. Quincy wasn't happy. Universities, they don't know shit included Quincy. Okay, so yeah, we've got migrant commies and stuff. Wanderlanders. Are these millennials? Alice Rabbit, full access. Oh, they're hacker millennials, okay. Wild part, th I, I told you, they're millennials. So yeah, you know, we've got migrating commies, millennials, and uh, you know, a puff piece here. Cyborg in heels returns. Wearing heels, cutting stuff, that's literally something we've never seen before. A niche market I'm willing to capitalize on. Alright, we don't need to read all of that. Okay, how do I... Oh. We have an anime kitty! <laughs> we've got a slut shirt. Can I wear that to work? I don't think we can actually interact with that. Go to work! December 13th. G evening. Evening? Nobody says it like that. Hey there, Jill. Am I Jill? John. I think I'm Jill, because I don't see me. When will you admit you have a John face, Jill? Wait, Gil. Oh! Gillian. Jules. I'm not sure if Jillian is one of our waifus. He's hot enough to be a waifu. All right, I'm supposed to be reading text. I'm sorry. You look very distracted. Very, very distracted. Yes, it's nothing. I'm just thinking about stuff. I can't. I need to practice voices. All right, reading. I have to pay rent by the thirtieth, which is always stressful. And ah, it's also the fact I spent a full hour yesterday apparently talking to myself. Hey, I see you, jerk. Not to mention the fact that two days ago I found the bars at risk of closing. So we need 800 bucks, I think. Which is pretty cheap for a bar. So not only is my life being sh shaken up, I'm apparently going crazy. On top of that, neutering four, some nice jazzy music. Neutering four left me with a completely empty wallet and I'll get evicted. It's like space age and neutering cats is still expensive. It's ridiculous. Um, well, not space age, but cyberpunk age. There's all the beer cans around my apartment. Did you say something? You really work today? Parker. So we play as a Fujashi, like trash. We play as D.Va from Overwatch. We are a Dorito gremlin that wears slut t-shirts. I'm pretty okay with this. If you can make a piano man, I'll skip the rest, but bear with me for a second, okay? Let's start with the sugar rush. Look for the recipe using the navigation bar in the recipe book. That will show up on the top left. You can also sort drinks by flavors like sweet and types like manly. Manly man drinks for men! Menergy! <laughs> Parker is so upset at my yelling. Um, drag the desired amount of ingredients to their cells in the shaker in the center. When done, press the mix button. Press it to stop mixing. Yeah, okay. If the drink looks messed up, you'll need to press the reset button and try again. I'm the one that just went through formal... Okay, so BTC is not Bitcoin. It's like... Bar Techno Services with a C. They can't spell very well, it's okay. Jill wants either a sugar rush or a piano man. If I mess up the ingredients, I can press the reset button. Okay. Let's make a piano man. Oh, this is a piano woman. 
Okay, so yeah, the, the main gameplay is you make drinks and they apparently change people's lives. I, I guess it's because, like, happy, strong. I guess that, like, imbues them with feelings. I don't, I don't know how this works yet. I was scared, though, because it, it said, like, they called itself Waifu Abuse Simulator. So I don't know if, like, everybody dies or something. Like, I, I don't know. I'm scared to make drinks. Yeah, so Piano Man or what was the other one? Is that Brand Teeny? Brand Teeny. So that's my favorite kind of brand. Yeah, let's just make a piano, man. Okay. Two of this. Holy crap, these are complicated. Five powder delta. Like, that's got a lot of stuff. I mean, at least we can have this open. Unlike certain interfaces, we have to keep opening and closing this kind of crap. Drink does not represent the opinions of Bar Pianists Union or its associates. Um, age. Ice. On the rocks and mixed. I don't know how long to mix it. What? <laughs> it's a glitched drink. That is awesome. Oh, don't tell me I have to redo that again. Oh, come on. Oh, you can just click. Okay. Two, five of this. It uses everything. Why isn't this working? Why doesn't clicking work? Oh, whatever. I don't get when you're supposed to stop mixing. What, what? Why isn't this working? Okay, why? How? Making drinks is hard, apparently. Okay, so you do- oh, crap. Okay. Two. No. Ice. Why is this- this is a tutorial. This shouldn't be this hard. Um... I guess just mix the bejesus out of it? I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Like, you can't mix a drink too much, right? I don't know. What, 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 what am I doing wrong? Whatever. Make a sugar rush. Why is this hard? This is the. It's, this one's mixed too. Okay, this seems vastly easier. Mixed, okay. What the? <sighs> Do I have to stop it before it starts going crazy? Okay, you you mix it for a very very short period of time. Okay, have it. Let's do one more. Okay. Blended. Oh, mixed versus blended. You, you could have told me that earlier. On the rocks are aged. Nice and aged buttons. Okay. Why did both drinks? The station will add the ice after mixing. It's a fun fact. Give me a moon blast and I'll leave you alone. <laughs> That sounds oddly sexual. 
Um, let's, give, let's give Jill a moon blast. Or Gil. Blended drinks, five seconds. Okay. Mars Blast. No relation to the Hadron Cannon you can see on the moon for one week every month. Sweet girly happy. It's a good way to be. Uh, Flangenine, two Kermine. Why can't I just click the thing? Uh, on the rocks. Blended. Here's your Moon Blast. Now go away, Gil. Sorry to hold you up. Let's get working. Yeah. Before I forget, you can make any drink big by doubling the amount of ingredients. But if the recipe already has over 10 ingredients, the drink is already big. If a recipe says as optional, blah blah blah, you can use none or fill it to the brim. Doesn't count towards making a big drink. An alcoholic factor. Oh! Okay, so we can choose to get people wasted or not. I see. Are you done with the exposition? Now I am, yes. Hello. Who's this? Found her out while shopping. Do you just find unconscious people all the time? Just gonna make such a ruckus. Yeah, freaking you drag unconscious people into your bar and they're just so ungrateful. Alright, so things are happening. Responsibility. I can't read all of this, I'm sorry. I'll just try to leave it up for like twice as long as it takes me to read it. Chief? Who's Chief? Chief is some evil villain, apparently. Calm down, Parker. Alright, so we've got bad peoples. Well, I guess the intro made it very apparent that things are bad. She's just sleeping soundly, not comatose. I love the dithering on just everything. I, I really, I'm not usually huge into the visual novels. Um, I don't dislike them, but I, I just don't get the desire to play them. But uh, dogs, lots of them. Um, yeah, I just love the look. It looks like one of those PC weird. Japanese home PC consoles that had a ton of like oddly high quality pixel art anime stuff and like um, God what's an example like the cutscenes in those Valis games and uh, Princess Maker and stuff Like it's a really cool look If you hear purring Parker is rubbing his face all over the mic My Jillian uh, jukebox. This model seems to have all its 12 slots. What? 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 What an oddly specific... Exactly! Protagonist. Protagonist gets me! Um, add songs. Okay. This preview is too slow. I, I don't care. Let's just load up with random songs, because I'm not familiar with them yet. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Well, aren't you proud of yourself? Oh. Hello, sir. Get me a beer. That's so boring. He wants a beer. Looks like quite the big guy, though. Let's give him a big beer, then. <laughs> bad touch? We're nothing but... <laughs> Classy? The, the bad touch is classy and vintage. Okay. Traditionally, brewed beer has become a luxury, but this one's pretty close to the real deal. 
bubbly classic vintage. Th this is so weird. I guess it's because, you know, cyberpunk and everything's weird and different. Um, Bronson extract, harder delta, flagride. One, two, three, four. Oh, it's already big. I like the the pixel art of the drink is a really nice touch. It, it's already big. Excuse you? I, I I thought I was told that the beer was already big. If it has ten ingredients. Oh uh, whatever. I guess that's why they did it first, so we could see the. Oh. I see. Uh, it's eight, two powder delta. There you go, jerk. You didn't even ask for a big beer. You, 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 you. Ugh. Shush. New Jersey 3. The even more newest Jersey. New Jersey 3. Donovan D. Dawson. Chief editor and owner of the Augmented Eye. What are you doing here? I think it's published there without my blessing. See, so you're the one to blame for the barrage of daily articles on Alice Rabbit. People love those articles. They love reading about that urban legend. Can you blame them? They do the wild card hacker working their own goals and nobody else's. That's just the kind of corny shit that brings the clicks. Oh, this guy. This guy runs. It's the Huffington Post, but but cyberpunk. Not that different from the regular one, I guess. Clicks bring money, and money brings nice stuff. Stuff like cars, houses, and plastic surgery for the missus and her kids. Why, why is the editor-in-chief ordering like a plain-ass beer? Oh, whatever. I won't judge him too hard. Not complaining about the fact you write about the hacker, just to write about them every single day. Some of it isn't news, just speculations or copycats. Can't read your newspaper's daily feed without running at least one article. <laughs> First of all, how dare you? I don't write about it, my interns do. Oh! I told you it was the Huffington Post. This is this is literally the Huffington Post. I know these things. Just capitalizing on this topic while well, it's popular. It's literally the Huffington Post. Second, you're tired of one article about a supposed hacker, but all those daily stories about murders and other horrors. Well, I always feel like throughout that section. I don't like to stay my day scared. It's, yeah, scared and bitter. I have enough pressure and problems as it is. I don't need to add Glitch City's lovely citizens to the list. You're smart and you look, kid. If people like you, I go bankrupt for the lack of traffic. Still, maybe my job would be easier. People get disid people get bored of a certain type of news after seeing it repeatedly. When I started this job, it only took the news of some elderly woman getting shot to guarantee clicks. Now you need an elderly woman carrying a sick baby boy getting hit by a truck. That's not enough. They need a full sob story behind it. That's why I like these urban legends. They're easy to write about. You can make up any shit you want. Spam them while they're hot. And even people like you, people who avoid the murder stories, they'll see them. That brings money, and like I said, money's good. Huh, guess he has a point. What about the opinion columns? Aren't those a good source of traffic too? Oh, I hate those brats! <laughs> they just write about how they're better than everyone else. <laughs> Obvious satire. They might, they might also write about how everyone likes a certain something. Likes a certain something should be sodomized. <laughs> the worst part about that is that they know half our clicks come from that. So they get all diva like on my ass. You're being too harsh. What about. No, wait. No, so you got another there's paper. Yeah, they call it mostly your page. You're annoying. <laughs> I guess this guy's not too bad. Kid on the restaurant critique column. Shit, forgot the brat's name. Restaurant. That kid. Couldn't care less about his name. 
Anyway, it's Column's least visit of the bunch. She gets less hits in the obituaries. Do, do people read? I, I guess, like, grandparents read obituaries. A morbid topic. However, he still insists that I keep paying him for his adventures to go out to outrageous restaurants. I wouldn't have any problem with that if he actually wrote about half of the places he visits. Rarely writes about the places the newspaper sends him to. Tries to get free meals by claiming he's a food critic. I'm a food cr cricket. This was a Simpsons episode. Poor bastard only gets laughed at when he says that. Pfft. They look like a fat child with a really small face. Wasn't this one then. Try to give me a beer. He, 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 he. he just had it. Whatever. Let's give him a beer. A big one. I don't know why I can't just click for the beers, but whatever. Right, so you don't have to shake for long. It's the big things that make life worthwhile. What about big troubles? Did I stutter, kid? Whatever, bro. You see any celebrities in this hellhole? Please stop referring to this place as the hellhole. The place smells like soap and dog piss. It, I, I think you don't like the smell of soap? You don't like soap? I'm doing my best here, thank you very much. You tell him, Jillian. Gillian. Is, is it pronounced Jillian? No, I think it's just Gillian. Like, I know a girl Gillian, so it's throwing me off that dude Gillian is Gillian also. Nobody important. Would you stop yelling, Gillian? You frickin'... He's a yeller. Don't be offended by what I say, kid. I'm insulting the building, not you. You can think of it as a small hole in hell rather than a hellish hole, if you like. <laughs> Charming. So, celebrities. Not really. Not that I know of. Why? Is this all I can... Just wondering if there was like a save. Oh, we got... Yeah, so I'm pretty sure the music player is for our own benefit. No. Maybe. Not that I know of. Why? Let's begin with, you have a serious VIP as a client, but I don't see you loosening your shit. You're not making me feel special, honey. He ordered beer. Nobody that orders beer is special. I am sorry. Second, because I'm always for gossip about famous people. Especially the red carpet kind of famous. Those folks people would pretend to love, but actually want to see Fall From Grace. Exactly. Pretend to love Fall From Grace. What do you think gossip about famous people always sell? People will pretend they love celebs. They really want to see their idol tore down to their level. I like that little grin. Mmm. Want to see him suffer. Get their comeuppance for daring to be so much more successful than them. I think gossip is just something everybody enjoys, but nobody wants to admit to enjoying. He thought wrong. And even if you're right, it doesn't change the facts that people love that kind of stuff. I'm... <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna have to end the video whenever I get the opportunity to save. I, I, I'm not super confident about the whole showing visual novels thing. I don't know what to talk about. But uh, I, I'll let everybody else decide, I guess. I'll do another video if people if people are thirsty. Just let me know, I guess. Like, I'm enjoying myself. I just... It's hard to think of things to talk about while I'm just reading what they say. What do I care if this guy I saw in some random movie was wearing socks with sandals or if they're dating God knows who? Granted, socks with sandals is probably public indecency, but still. Oh, please, as a bartender, but you have some strong voyeuristic streak. Your kind always loves to hear that. My kind? It's like hairdressers. It sounds hypocritical coming from you. Even if that's the case, Baka, I don't centralize, sensationalize what people do. I don't make it more than that person you know on TV acts like a human. Sensationalized, the keyword here. Just the other day, I saw this committee judge bitching over what some girl was wearing to the store. No matter what you say, these people don't exist solely to entertain the public. This problem exists because of the ones constantly cultivating the idea that they're perfect and untouchable. 
going to exotic locales, dressing in elegant ways, indulging in every luxury they can think of. All that just leaves a public craving for these little moments that make a mistake and fall to their level. Like a huge YouTuber having an annoying cat interrupt every single one of his recordings. He's not even here. He left. He got tired of interrupting. Can't say that's a lie, but sometimes the crowd just wants another human. Hey, that dude that plays the nice guy is indeed a really nice guy. That's, that's, that's what I want in the news. Nice person. Actually nice. Put that on the front page. Mm, good stuff. To be fair, the gossip articles don't help sensationalizing everything. We already have 800 bucks. I just noticed that. That is our rent, apparently. Feels like they're instigating a behavior that shouldn't be acknowledged in the first place. You like your big words, eh, brat? You're an editor. You, you should know all kinds of big words. Well, two can play that game of big word have, you... Big worder? Yeah. Hey, you're a bartender, right? No, I'm a lab rat hell-bent on world conquest. I like Jill. <laughs> Chill out, bro. Anyway, I just realized that a bartender you must have had quite a few stories in her career. Talk about changing topics. Maybe. Why? Wouldn't you like a column talking about those? I bet they would sell quite well. But like the priest that published confessionary stories. They got excommunicated and lynched. Seems a little extreme. People usually tell me all this stuff because they know I'm just a simple bartender. Personal stranger of sorts. Do people actually like... Like, you know, wax on to bartenders? Or is that just like a movie thing? Like, I I've never felt the urge to talk to a bartender, to be quite honest. But I don't go to bars alone either, so maybe that's it. We could have you ghostwriting. Half our st staff do that. Isn't that the opposite of what ghostwriting is, though? Like, ghostwriting... Like, you're talking about a pseudonym. Figures. Anyway. Eventually, the people from the stores would know it's them and blame me. Not only would that hurt us as a business, it would hurt me. I really like hearing clients rant about their lives. I guess it would hurt the clients, too. Maybe. Whatever. They're almost people. If you ever retire, that offer is waiting for you. Sure. Do you want a drink? Mr. Donovan. Mr. Donovan. I just really like this. Oh, good. <laughs> You've only had two beers, bro. Calm down. Mr. Dawson. M boss. Oh, it's just a title. Mr. Dawson was my father and grandfather. It's just too general. But Mr. Donovan, well, that's more like it. And I don't like it when people call me Mr. Sir Tap Tap. Mr. Sir Tap Tap is my father. They're referring to me, to the man in front of them, not my family, not my position as a boss. To me, I, 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 I'm not sure. I think you're reading too much into that. Do you want your employees to get personal with you, Mr. Donovan? Oh god, no. <laughs> I want them to fear me. Not because I'm their boss, the name appearing on their paychecks. But rather because I attract mortal dread into them. You sound like a great boss. You sound just real nice. <laughs> Starting tomorrow, I'm gonna make everyone call me that. Oh great, I just ruined everyone's lives that works under the sky. Drink, another one, do you? Yes, yes. But I need to cut myself off. It's got a night shift. Give me something bitter and big, but not alcoholic. Okay. Bitter and big. Alright, that'll do. Wait. Ah, crap. I wish I could see the price for these. I want to give them the big, the expensive ones. Okay, all of these are... Okay, I guess I just have to give them the Sunshine Cloud then. Alright, on the rocks, blended. Right. I was a little worried 
SoundCloud. I like the little drink icons. It's very cute. I was worried that bartending would be difficult, but that was a stupid thing to worry about in retrospect. Paint me blue and call me Sue. You can actually do it. Just help me stay up late tonight. I was just I was just messing up the mixing thing. Sorry about that. Say, kid, does this bar have any investors? He didn't call it a hellhole? He's already wasted. Bloke? Ooh! Some bloke named Sven wanted to deal with some money if we stamp his face in all over the place. Ooh! Jolly well bloke, then. Aside from that, no. These bars are pretty much like any fast food chain, so they're no local investors. Why? Just wanted to let you know how lucky you bastards are. <laughs> investors suck harder than my first wife's mouth. Thanks for that. These bastards think they're so important because they put money in the company. Ooh. Well, that's kind of the point. I mean, you give me money so I can make more. Let me do my thing and I'll give you the money. But no, they have to stick their noses in and start changing the silliest of stuff. This is what this guy sounds like when he's drunk. What good is it to be the boss if you have to work for someone else? You still have to answer to unions, the government, those kind of organizations, don't you? Yeah, but that's paperwork. I just have somebody else doing call it a day. Those are just ask for meetings. Okay, that's too much of that voice. This is, this is way too intense for what's going on. There you go. They start talking about stuff they don't like, stuff they find offensive, such as my nudity in the break room. It's called the break room for a reason, Karen. Gosh. There's always one guy or gal that's like, hey, why don't you do that other newspaper does? Reporting on news? That ain't my type. More clicks! More clicks! How dare you! I make sure to keep stuff spicy while still keeping production quality up, but it's never enough for them. Well, you know what? They want more clicks? I'll give them more clicks! I'll show them what happens. <sighs> I'll show them what happens when they don't reject ideas. They'll know who the hell Donovan D. Dawson is. Should I be worried? Nah. At least he paid before storming off. Hmm. I wonder if we... I wonder what happened to Sven, though. Never heard from him again. Jill! What the hell happened in that bathroom? That kind of mess usually requires you to have thumbs. What? Crafty dog. Oh! <laughs> it was dogs! You'd think their short legs would hinder them. Uh. The vents! <laughs> the vents! <laughs> oh, wow. So there actually were dogs and Briar Rose. I won't forget this. Yeah, yeah. He won't forget this, Parker. He'll swear revenge. Yeah, that's right. Oh, a client. Welcome to Valhalla. What can I... Gut punch. Fast. I like that tattoo, like the head cut off thingy. This is a long game. I guess I'll cut the video like around here if I remember to and I'll, I'll make this two videos uh, I was not expecting Can I quick save or something? No Whew. Like Wow, okay big gut punch fast I'm gonna give him a gut punch. All right That's right Parker. I'll punch his face off Yeah <clears throat> Sorry, Parker's giving his input. One, two, three, four, five. Flint dried. Optional. Optional carotene. Um. Aged and mixed. It's supposed to mean a punch of innards. I think this guy wants booze, so I'll give him a decent amount there. All aged and mixed. Supposed to be a punch of the innards, but actually, me. It's supposed to mean a punch made of innards. Ugh. That does sound bitter, manly, and strong. Success. Have a gut punch. Uh. 
Hmm, you can actually do it then. I am a bartender, bro. This crack house is a bar? It's not a crack house, it's a bar. Hellhole crack house. It smells like dog urine and soap. How to expect? There, there may have been some slight gallons of dog urine, but you know, we're trying to make ends meet, and dogs have money, apparently. Surprised you decided to come to a little crack house at all, Mr. Mr. Customer that I'm insulting. The hell do you care? Look at this guy. This is like standard. If he had like a cyber eye, this would be standard cyberpunk protagonist right here. The payment registry says. Sorry for the question, Mr. Ingram. You know, we've seen zero waifus. I mean, we kind of are a waifu. But we've seen zero waifus to bartend so far. We're working on fixing it. There was an incident over... There was, a, there was a small incident we refer to as the piss explosion. It's Tuesday. <laughs> it's, it was a big piss explosion, okay? It was a class 4 piss explosion. Those take a few days. Yes, they do, Parker. <laughs> I hope you can hear him. He's talking to me. If I pay you... We if you come with me to... Oh, fuck you. But I have no use for you beyond giving me drinks. I mean, that's... That's kind of the point of a bar, bro. That's pleasant. <laughs> pleasant hell. Why did you come... Why do you care? Why do I care? Somebody recommended me. I have absolutely no idea why she likes it. She says she's a regular here and all. I'm starting to doubt her tastes. Can I ask who? No. Ingram. Oh, that's a nice techie name. Um, I'll concede one thing. Whoever picks the music at least has decent- Yes! Yes! That's me! I have decent taste. You all know it now. You can't deny it. Hey, Jill. Where'd you put the dish soap? Jill's run out. Or Gil. Uh, below the sink, where it's always been. Stupid. Is Dana? Like, Dana's like a girly name, but you don't look- I mean, you look kind of girly, but you look like that anime boy sort of girly. Whatever. Doesn't matter. So, any other feedback you wish to provide the establishment so we can enhance your customer service? No, nothing. That's an interesting change of heart. I can't afford to slander this place knowing she's here. You know my boss? Oh, Dana's the boss. I don't know her, but I know who she is. Dana Zane, the red comet. She's clearly white in all regards. Maybe she's a commie. I don't know. The woman who fended off mall rioters all by herself, knocking out cold. <laughs> nice! I have an awesome boss. I know boss did quite a few things before opening this bar. This sounds pretty sweet. Do you happen to know how she got her mechanical arm? You hear a couple stories? They sound too fantastical to be true. Th then why- If you don't believe some of the stories, why do you believe the others? You- You, sir! Our ludonarrative dissonance. I'm gonna poke your eye for this. I hope you enjoy this eye poking that you deserve. You've had an interesting change of attitude. <laughs> I saw that woman take out armed rioters with her bare hands. Her bare mechanical hand. Once you see something like that, it's hard not to keep your mouth shut in front of them. Interesting. You can relax, though. Well, I've seen her deal with clients personally about two or three times. One of all of class 5 weaponry, the other, YES! Kick the pickup artist in the ass, and or dick, or both at once. Though that's kind of hard for a single person. But, uh, extra points if you can do it. Um, <laughs> the latest one was an alpaca. We don't like alpacas around here! Mm-hmm. That's right. Not really an alpaca, but... There's this woman who owns a textile company. She got really drunk and started screaming <laughs> she was an alpaca! You know, we don't we don't discriminate against alpacas around here. Wait, I just did, but you know, aside from me, you know, I'm an exception. She started spitting on everything afterwards. <laughs> My boss had to show her the accent. <laughs> Are alpacas the ones that spit? Or I guess they're close to the llamas which do that. Anyway. I'd rather not remember that night, so let's leave it at that. I don't think I want to work here anymore. There's alpacas and piss explosions. And honestly, this guy is, you know, give me a pile driver. Is it are they even drinking the drinks? That's the word happening. Pile driver. <laughs> Calm down. 
He's, he's being nicer now. Um... Flangeride. Um, bitter, manly, burning. <laughs> burning. Wait, is it mixed? Yes. I hope you don't whine. That's too small. It's fine, you guess. Excuse me? Excuse me? Have I ever faked an orgasm? I think I heard wrong. What? I have the worst bar people, peoples. <laughs> Screw you, bro. I was just thinking about how good a lie can be. I mean, even the most sincere people. <laughs> it's a strange place for your mind to grow, bro. For your mind to grow. I'm gonna poke you in the eye a bit for that. Yes, enjoy the eye pokes. Um, yes, lies can buy you time. Lies can make you happy. Reality will come crashing through the door eventually. Screaming and fake orgasm. <laughs> well, cr crashing through the door. But for that moment, the lie can give meaning to you. <laughs> I say lies are like your porn stash. You know they exist, but you shouldn't acknowledge them. Does that mean you've really faked orgasms? Because you look like you've had... Aw, oh, fuck you. I'm... Uh, okay, we... I'm okay with her pile drivering him, or suplexing, or whatever. It's about the random thoughts you just suddenly have. You perhaps lying about something right now? Not really. I just think about people making polite comments about this crack house, like politely faking orgasms about this crack house. I mean, <laughs> that would be one hell of a way to introduce a bar. Already, don't you think you're drinking quite a bit quickly? It's my problem. Fringe Weaver. That sounds like a like a computer RPG enemy. Let's make a Fringe Weaver. Frothy water. Holy crap! That's like pure alcohol. Chill, bro. I think that's yeah. That's nine. It's like drinking ethyl alcohol with a spoonful of sugar. I told you, it's pure alcohol. Classy. It's pure alcohol! There's nothing classy! It's... it's... Everclear! He's drinking Everclear! That's not... classy! It's not bubbly either, unless it's like... Oh, whatever. Aged... and mixed. Strong is definitely correct. That... That looks like ovaries. That looks like... Yeah. That is way... also way too fancy... For just pure alcohol. That's up to me. Have you ever felt empty? Would you stop asking about my sex life? A hungry, hungry. <laughs> she really is diva. She's got that Dorito gremlin mindset. She's like, food? Wear food, eat Doritos. Mountain Dew, yes. Empty like there's a part of you missing. Like the, f the real orgasm part? I just feel like this is part of myself that lacks something. An urge to get or do something I can't just satisfy. Wait, maybe you could double. Maybe you could double up. I was thinking that I couldn't double that. This guy's way, like, this guy was a dick when he was sober, so I don't really want to get him too drunk, though. Might not solve your problems, but it might keep you busy enough to avoid thinking about it. Any suggestions? Collecting stuff, reading, bungee jumping, combat sports. Exercising, faking orgasms. Sounds a lot cheaper than an alternative, which is. <laughs> I hate this guy. Can we throw him out yet? Sex tourism once? It was like a bloody Russian roulette of STDs, so I left him way there. What, what were you expecting? This, this guy has serious problems. Like. <laughs> God damn. I shouldn't have neutered my cat. I should have neutered this guy. I once burned my Christmas bonus hiring three women for an orgy. Porn is more abusing and way cheaper. This, this guy makes bad everything choices. Like, it's beyond bad life choices. It's beyond... It's bad everything. I also hired a girl to act like my... Ugh! What? What the fuck? 
What? I want this guy out of my fucking bar. If he's trying to rescue me, a puppy. You can't. Ah! I hate this person so much. I I can't even read his lines. I'm drawing a blank. Then. Oops. Oh. Hey, it does have cool um, visual novel, like the. Uh, if you just scroll up, you can read the text. I wasn't expecting you to help me here, believe me. Huh? Could have been lying through my teeth this whole time. Yeah, I, I don't think most people lie about fucking puppies. What? I swear to God, if you bring up the fake orgasms again. Yes, get out! <laughs> Please come again, don't know. Good. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, I would, I would take a break after that. Okay, is that chapter one? That was long. 2069. Nice. <laughs> Look how kawaii this is. So yeah, I guess that's... Wait, day one break? Holy crap, that was only half of day one? Okay, wow. I, I guess I'm gonna push out these two videos. Um... I might do one more just to see where we're going, um, but let me know if this is working out well for you all, like, I don't know, I guess I have more to say than I thought I might, but I still feel like half of it, this is just me reading text. I don't know, maybe that's awesome for you, maybe it's not, I don't know. Um, it's just not what I particularly enjoy. I don't mind doing this, I just am not sure it's appreciated on the other end, so just let me know or drop a like or whatever if you do enjoy this. Um, and, or just play the game if you want, obviously. Um, it's on, it's released, I mean, yeah, it's released now. It's it released in a few hours, but uh, I'm not going to be able to push it out that fast. So yeah, this is Valhalla. Um, probably going to be maybe one more video, even if I don't hear back before I record it. Um, otherwise, who knows? I, li I like this one. This one, this is the best one of these this one's okay. This one's okay. These are like standard. But this is like... Like these are your B rank standard anime peoples. This is your like C rank. Uh, everybody doesn't like that one. This is this is S tier. Like we've got quad drills. Like screw double drills. We've got quad drill action. And kitty ears I believe. And and we've got the, we've got the face that's like... Mm, I don't know about that. So th this is obviously the best one. They've got a lot of saves. Okay, but yeah, this is Valhalla. Thank you for watching.